anime is great at a lot of things and it, including you know making things you you know wouldn't normally find interesting or amusing fun and exciting to watch ballroom dancing included Welcome to Demo Entertainment. Recently, I was working on a blog about the best anime uh, Amazon Prime has to offer, and I came across Welcome to the Ballroom. Now, I was shocked at how good this anime was, despite it looking so, you know, weird. I mean, it's about ballroom dancing. By the way, if you're interested in watching this anime, I have a Amazon Prime link in the description below if you haven't already signed up. So this anime targets the shonen audience, which is, you know, males between the age of 8 and 18. And, you know, for a anime about ballroom dancing, it sounds really weird, but it is also in the sports genre, which, you know, makes a lot more sense. If you're a fan of anime like Hajime no Ippo or Yuri on Ice, there's a big chance that you'll also enjoy this anime. Now, since it is a sports anime, it does exaggerate a lot of things, and some of the scenes in the anime are just plain out weird. If you do decide to watch this anime, I would recommend, you know, wearing headphones and, you know, watching it by yourself as you should with all anime. The quality of the show is great. I mean, I gave it an overall 8, and I will go over some of the things that this show did really well. The art style kind of reminds me of Haosuki no Kuni. Now, don't get me wrong, it looks completely different. But they, in uh, Welcome to the Ballroom, they also do use CGI in some of the parts and you can see that. But the main thing is, is that they both look really weird when you first like look at it through like a new perspective. Like it, it looks really weird. And I can't blame people because, you know, their long necks in the anime can pretty much freak out anyone. For animation, I also thought it was really good. The bad side about the, you know, art style and animation is if you look um, away from the center of attention, you can find a lot of loss in detail, and it looks definitely kind of weird, but you should be good as long as you, you know, look where they want you to. And there's a lot of reasons that this could happen, but it's most likely that they had a tough schedule. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, and it's not too big of a deal. Real quick, I just want to update this and say that after going back and trying to snapshot the clips, I found that it's actually not that bad. Most of the background dancers are made using CGI, which does drop the quality since every background dancer has the same model with slight variations in the dress. Honestly though, I think that they make good use of the CGI since it would be a really big pain in the ass for them to draw out every background character. The colors used in this show are very vibrant, and it shows it off well in the dresses that you can see the female characters wearing. Like most sports anime, the character development is really good. At the start of the anime, the main character is really weak and shy, kind of like Hajime no Ippo, and as the anime progresses, you find that he becomes more confident. They introduce this interesting aspect of the partner relationship where the male is the lead and the female is the follow. In the anime, they like to compare this to a painting where the female is kind of like a flower in the painting and then the male lead is like the frame around the painting where they both need to look good and complement each other. As the story progresses, the main character changes with each new partner. You can really see a big difference between the first and second arc. The sound in this anime is great, and I would definitely say it's probably one of my favorites in anime. And because you have this kind of, you have a lot of variety throughout the anime with each new um, song and dance that they do. The pacing in this anime is, you know, really good. Uh, it's like this too in a lot of other sports anime where, you know, uh, during like a competition, you know, you really want the main character to win and you're always kind of like on the edge of your seat. The first season is 25 episodes and I actually completed it in three days just because of, you know, how good the pacing was and I just, you know, I just couldn't really uh, hold myself back from watching all that anime. So real quick, I'm going to go over a synopsis of the anime. Welcome to the Ballroom kind of shows the journey of Fujita, a shy middle school student. One day he sees Shizuku, a girl that he thinks is like him, walk into a studio. Curious, he decides to check it out. Bullies try to take his money before Sengoku, the owner and competitive dancer, protects him. 
He learns about the competitive sport of ballroom dancing and works to one day dance on the same floor Sengoku does. Probably through the synopsis, you can definitely relate it to Hajime no Ippo because in Hajime no Ippo, uh, you know, uh, Ippo got bullied and then, you know, uh, Takamura comes in and then saves him and then kicks all the bullies' asses, kind of like this. A little bit different though. Thanks for watching this video. If you already watched the anime, tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. If you didn't, go watch the anime, then come back, and then like the video if you liked the anime, and then if you disliked the anime, go ahead and dis give this video a dislike. Is Black Clover the victim to a horrible studio, or is finally listening to the hours worth of Asta screams finally made Studio Piero go mad? Anime adaptations are about as faithful to the manga as Krillin is to life. Find out why in this video. Help me! Ah!